Running your own business isn't always easy. It's early mornings, long hours, and work, work, work. And it's fun. I really enjoy it because I love people. I enjoy being with people. And vending is the type of work that I love doing. Sally Treyer is legally blind. She doesn't have to work, but she loves it. It's like I get a high when I'm with the people. I love it because I enjoy life and I enjoy being with people. All my children are grown up. I have grandkids, but when I sit at home, I'm at home. I, I do nothing. And when I'm here, I'm enjoying life. I'm with people, and that's what I enjoy. The work Sally enjoys so much is running a snack bar in the Duval County Courthouse Annex. Well, it is little, but it is very profitable. I have snacks, sandwiches, and soups, and I have hot specials, and we have quite a few customers that come through here. Sally's Snack Bar is just one of almost 150 facilities around the state run through the Division of Blind Services Business Enterprise Program, or BEP. BEP is one of the biggest vending and food services programs in the country, run by people who are legally blind. So how do you get in on this deal? And why would you want to? To be licensed as a food service manager in Florida, you need to meet the following requirements. You must be legally blind, at least 18 years old with a high school diploma or GED, undergo a security background investigation, and you have to successfully complete the business enterprise training and licensing requirements. Training takes place at the Rehabilitation Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired in Daytona Beach. Students live on campus for 14 to 16 weeks. And in addition to basic orientation, home management, and computer skills, they take classes in vending, food service, and sanitation, record keeping, and various business skills. They focus on managing people, I think, uh, a lot. How to deal with people, how to deal with customers, customer service skills, uh, learning how to do the, the paperwork. For students like Cassandra Farish, these classes are a step to the next phase of her life. I'm in the independent living skills program to get better at cooking and um, computer skills and communication and personal management. And then after that, I will be going into the business enterprise program so I can run my own or manage my own restaurant. Yeah, I want to catch a register for me. Thank you. After classes are over, the real work begins. Doing, Students spend six to 12 weeks in on-the-job training, putting their new skills to work in a real-life setting, and finally are licensed and eligible to apply for available business opportunities. There are a few things to keep in mind before students take on a business. First of all, this is a business program with all the risks and rewards of any business. Although good returns are common, they are not given. Compensation depends on how much knowledge and effort an operator puts into the business. There's not always an opportunity in every area of Florida, so the ability to relocate is essential. And once you've managed one business, your track record will affect your chances of getting another. These businesses come in four forms. There are snack bars of all sizes, cafeterias, highway vending machines, and non-highway vending machines, like these soda and candy machines in a county courthouse. Most of these options are located on federal, state, or other public property. Some are on private property. Dave's Cafe is located in a busy federal building. Like all other BEP vendors, Dave Harbach had to compete against other licensed candidates for his spot. Tests include a written exam, an interview, an assessment of his past performance. Now that he's working, the Division of Blind Services supports him in many different ways. Well, it supplies the space. Um, they have a deal with the government, uh, with the, the Randolph Shepard Act. Um, they also they, uh, supply the equipment um, that I have to maintain and take care of and I'm responsible for. And if there are any repairs needed, I need to make sure I, I take care of those. In addition, DBS supplies Dave with a business consultant to answer questions, provide advice, and be his voice with people in the building if need be. But this chance means so much more than just a profitable business. Morning, Albert. 
A cabinet maker by trade, Dave's failing vision meant he needed to find a new career, and not working was not an option. Working is a great thing. You know, um, it, it, uh, it, it builds self-esteem, builds self-confidence. Um, when you accomplish things, you feel a lot better about yourself. Um, for me, this, this gives me life, you know, and I really do appreciate it. I you know, try and uh, give back as much as I can by giving good service to the customers and uh, giving them a nice place to take a break. But, uh, but yeah, it uh, gives, uh, gives me life. Dan Angela Cola has been working with DBS for more than 20 years. He's the general manager of his own business and has one paid employee. That business is the rest stop along I-95. We provide product through vending for people who are <coughs> traveling the highway and use the rest area. And uh, our, our mission statement uh, it tells us that uh, we have to provide quality products at a reasonable price. Uh, and uh, keep our, our machines and the facility uh, clean and neat, and, uh, and that's what we do. And hard work pays off. Owners receive a percentage of the profits they make. It's a, it's a darn good living. Dan credits the Division of Blind Services and the BEP program for his longevity and his success. Actually, without their support, I don't think there'd be many of us out here doing what we do. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of a partnership. And the support we get from DBS is, uh, is outstanding. Three very different individuals, three very different businesses, one common goal, to be a success on their own terms. A success that wouldn't be possible without the business enterprise program. Uh, for vision impaired people, I think this is the best thing out there for them. It's tailor-made for them. If they want a future, they would be wise to go through this program. If anybody qualifies and, and has the ambition and to do it, I, I, I think they should. I mean, it's a, a lucrative program. It, it, uh, the first thing it did was get me off the SSDI rolls, and uh, I was able to make my own living, which, uh, which is a, a, gave me a sense of pride, a sense of belonging with the group uh, through the uh, BBE. And, uh, and um, my advice to anyone who qualifies and would want to do this is go for it. For more information on the Business Enterprise Program, call 1-800-342-1828 or visit the Blind Services website at www.myflorida.com forward slash DBS.